What's up, everybody, and welcome to Cloud Live! I am your host, Dragon Blaker. You can call me Blake, and welcome to this Amazon Live interactive shopping experience presented to you by Shopping Dragons. What up, though? How's been everybody's last 24 hours? I hope everybody's doing great. I hope that you can hear me very well and see me very clearly. Things are looking all right on my end. And, uh, yeah, I think we're good to go. Welcome to the three people in the chat kicking off this Friday edition of Clown Live. This is going to be our last episode for the weekend. We're going to come back Monday at 5 p.m. Eastern. It's going to be a great time. But uh, yeah, I got to do some stuff offline for a little bit <coughs> with Mima for the weekend. Let's drink some water. Let's start the show drinking water today. How's been your 24 hours? What's up, Rover? Thanks for coming out and moderating today's chat. It was very nice of you. Appreciate you coming out. Yo. We're going to try like experimenting with different view today. I'm going to try to run two cameras at the same time. And if it looks poor, then let me know. If, it, if the camera looks bad, when we switch over to it, if it looks bad, the two cameras, let me know. And then we'll just not do that. But just want to ensure a good bit rate. Looks like the show is looking pretty good so far. So, <clears throat> excuse me. Yeah, like I said, welcome to Clown Live. I am your host, Dragon Blaker. You can call me Blake. You can call me whatever you like, but we've got some great products to look at here on this episode. And uh, yeah, I think we should get started real soon, right after we talk about the giveaways that are being hosted on today's show. We are doing two $5 Amazon gift card giveaways today here on today's show. It's going to be a $5 Amazon gift card for first place in the clown race that we have, as well as 17th place. Okay, we're going to give a $5 gift card to first place and 17th place today. That's $10 worth of Amazon gift cards that can be won here on today's show. Uh, one winner per card, of course, okay? And you have to be in the chat to claim. What's up, Travel Diva? Thank you for coming out here at the top of today's show. We're just going over the giveaway info, and then we're going to start talking products. I... <clears throat> I do things that are off of Amazon that are like, you can't talk about them on Amazon because they're like kind of crude. You know what I mean? So with that being enough said, we made some funny videos. We made some videos and we submitted them to some film festivals. So my boy uh, is coming out here today and we're going to sit down uh, because we submitted the content to the film festival Um uh, we get access to watch all of the other submissions. Now it's like 155 short films 
that have a runtime of 23 total hours. So I don't think, obviously, we're not going to watch all of them, but we're going to go through it and pick some ones that we, I don't know, like by sound of title. I'm not sure. I don't even know what the plan is, but he's going to come here. We're going to watch some short films tonight, and that's going to be a really fun time. So I'm super stoked to bang out a two-hour show on Friday night because uh, he might show up like right at 7, maybe 7.30. So usually we run that long, don't we? So let's do a tight two today. That's what we're going to focus on. And uh, yeah, so let's keep it going with the giveaway information now that I got that out of the way. <clears throat> um, and yeah, two $5 Amazon gift cards paid out today on Friday's episode of Clown Live. That's going to be first place and 17th place. Um Oh, you followed me because I did the thing? Okay, relax. Uh, first place in 17th place. That's enough of that. Also, and you can enter that. I got to do the whole thing. Sorry. You can enter that $5 Amazon gift card giveaway today. If you're a new follower in the chat, one of the nine people watching, head over to shoppingdragons.com slash win and enter your email information and be sure that you're following us here on Shopping Dragons. Okay, that's the minimum requirement. That's the minimum requirement. All these great links that Rover put in the chat with no line breaks in between them are definitely great links that you should be headed to. What do we got here? What did you share? Shoppingdragons.com for the $5. Yeah. Uh, current giveaways. Vast Gaming. Yeah. Vast and Dragon Bloggers are doing a Steam Deck. That ends on the 15th. And today's the Friday the 13th. So Sunday that ends for the, for the, uh, for the Steam Deck, right? Oh, the Quest 2 also runs until... Dragon Blogger Steam Deck January 15th Win Quest. Oh, okay, sorry. Yeah, it's really compact, all those lines. Steam Deck ends on the 15th. It's been running for a month. Get over there, get entered into that. Also, there is the $50 gift card on Dragon Blogger, as well as here, right here on Shopping Dragons. Uh, we're hosting a $100 Amazon gift card or PayPal cash payout giveaway that is happening now. It's running for another couple weeks until the end of the month. And then we're going to choose a winner. Yo, check this out. Okay. <laughs> if you win, sorry, hold on. <clears throat> Pardon me. Yo, if you win, okay. The $100 Amazon gift card or PayPal cash payout, you get to choose. You get to choose whether you want the money in your PayPal account or on an Amazon gift card. So choices for winners are always dope. It's not just one prize. You get the choice. Uh, what else? Um, win life, win life pro. What is the life pro? What is the life pro? What are they giving away on dragon blogger? That's the life pro. Um, oh, with line breaks. Yeah, this is a lot easier. Uh, yeah. Okay. So we see, we got the steam deck. We got the quest Two. We got the $50 card, uh, the dragon blogger, 12 K follower giveaway that's happening. Shopping dragons win 100. We just did that. What's the Life Pro? Is that the straw? Is Life Pro the water straw? I don't know. I don't know. Um, it's hard to keep track of all the brand names when we talk about so many different brands here on Clown Live. But when I think Life Pro, isn't that the like the straw that you can drink the ocean with? Anyway, uh, yeah, so those giveaways are happening. There's so many more giveaways that are happening on Dragon Blogger. Make sure you head over there, get entered into those, and be sure to have a lot of fun with the prizes that you win. There's always ample opportunities to win great gift cards and physical prizes here on Shopping Dragons, as well as Dragon Blogger. You know that? And as always, when one giveaway ends, another one begins. So there's always, always something popping off here on Shopping Dragons and Dragon Blogger. Uh, what's up, Wiley S? Thank you for joining the show today. Appreciate you coming out. And yeah, okay, so let's keep it popping then. That's all the giveaways. We want to do a tight two today, so let's get at it. First thing we're going to talk about in my pro... Oh, let's switch to the new view. Okay, this is the spot. We're going to switch to the new view. We'll do that right now. Just do that right now. Okay, boom, it's this. This is the shot. Yeah, a little blurry, a little blurry. Let's see if the bit rate catches up a little bit. See, we'll see if it, we'll see if this unblurs a little bit. We'll run it for a product or two and we'll see if it looks any better. Okay. Well, oh, there we go. Boom. Kicked right in. Now, how nice is that? Okay, cool. So we're going to do it like this. You got me, you got me right here. We got the product over here and uh, hopefully this is going to be cool for the show. I thought we could try it this way today <clears throat> and I get complete creative control over the show. So this is what we're doing. This is what, this is what we're doing. Okay. Let's drink more water. Let's drink more water and let's get started. <clears throat> I 
okay. Okay, we're going to talk about the Garmin D2 Air X10. And that's this watch right here. Comes in this nice little box. I've got it on my wrist. I'm going to take it off and show this camera in just a second. But the Garmin D2 Air X10 aviation watch is an amazing watch. If you are a pilot, then this has apps that are built into it that just aren't built into other uh, that aren't built into many other watches. I think this might be the only one, but I'm, I'm not 100% sure. But for at least the mid-grade level watches that Garmin produces, the D2 Air X10 is the ultimate aviation watch. It has the ability to detect what altitude you're at and then instantly start recording your flight. And you can overlay that data onto any applicable metric that you need. So really cool there. But a lot of people aren't pilots. So let's move on from the very distinct feature of aviation with the Garmin D2 Air X10 and just describe to you how it truly is an amazing watch. It has so many robust features built into it a lot of workout features uh this has a this has a um <clears throat> this has a uh blood oxygen sensor in it so it uh measures your your blood oxygen saturation levels this has a step counter this monitors your heart rate this has gps built into it so you don't even need to pair the watch to a phone you can just wear the watch when you're going out to do walks you want to track your you want to track your show um your steps, then you can do that. Uh, it's all built into the watch. And there's so many more great exercise features that I could talk about it forever. So uh, there's a lot, a lot of features built in. Swimming, this is waterproof. Uh, I think it's waterproof for up to, uh, I think it's a little more than three meters, but I forget right now. But you can swim with this. Uh, you can shower with it. Excuse me. And uh, yeah, there's like, when you connect the watch to your phone, you can connect it to the Garmin IQ app, the Connect app. Pardon me, pardon me, excuse me. You can connect your phone, you can connect your watch, excuse me, to your phone, to the Garmin Connect app. Now you can download so many different apps and so many different watch faces. It's truly infinitely customizable, okay? Uh, you can put personal pictures on this. You can do whatever you want. And then what else is great about the watch? Well, it has a touch screen built into it. You can reply to messages from this. Here's the watch here. Let's put it like on the box. Let's do it like this. Oh, yeah. See, so I don't want to slide on the on the new desk. I don't want to scratch the desk. But there's the watch there. It's probably going to turn off because I'm not wearing it. But this is it. It's got a Gorilla Glass 3 screen. And we can swipe down. And we can check all of our... Um, different widgets that are installed on the swipe down screen and these you can swap out like i can't read it from there but i can test my i can see my stress levels i can access my calendar uh i can track my sleeping like whether i'm in a deep or a rem sleep and then there's like entire health snapshots that are built into the watch when uh all of these functions come together. When all the functions come together, you can get health snapshots. They determine your Garmin body battery, which I think is pretty accurate. It tells you how you feel, how tired you should feel. Okay, another couple cool things about the watch is that it does feature Spotify premium integration. So if you have a Spotify account, then you are able to, okay, what you're able to do is make a playlist on Spotify and then over Wi-Fi, you can, uh, the right cam with the Garmin looks better with the color and brightness. This is the E-Meet, this is the E-Meet C960, a little bit slow, kind of a little bit slow there, but this is the E-Meet C960. And uh, yeah, we talk about this camera a lot. We talk about this camera a lot. So I thought it'd be cool to hook it up today. <clears throat> and yeah, okay. So yeah, it does have that Gorilla 3 glass touch interface, uh, Gorilla 3 glass face. This is made out of plastic and stainless steel. It does have the sensors on the back. Uh, it is not wireless charging. It has that proprietary uh, Garmin charger on it. Um, so that's something that you may want to know. I mean, I've never seen a wireless charging Garmin watch uh, because I've spent time looking. I've spent a little bit of time looking. Maybe I'm not looking hard enough, but I haven't seen one. Now, the Garmin D2 Air X10 is available today for $500. And 44 cents, it's on deal, it's 9% off. You're saving 50 bucks on its AR uh, average retail value, ARV. I like to say MSRP. I was thinking about starting to say ARV, but I don't know what I'm gonna do. So yeah, the MSRP though is regular 550. It's on today for 500 bucks. It's four and a half stars with 49 ratings. Uh, I give this a five star rating. It's a great watch. I've been uh, enjoying it since I got it. 
One thing that I did not enjoy about the watch, and I didn't realize this about myself, is that I must have some allergic reaction to the silicone band that was included. My wrist bone uh, started kind of rashing up a little bit. So I discontinued use um, of the strap and got a new nylon strap, and now I love it. I love it. Um, so yeah, uh, I kind of, I kind of zoned off there, but I'll go back to the point that I was saying about Spotify. You can make that playlist and then over Wi-Fi, you can download the songs to the watch and then you can connect this with Bluetooth and have a completely, uh, wireless environment that doesn't need your phone, just the watch and the headphones. And even if the headphones are too much, or you don't want the headphones, the Garmin D2 Air X10 has a speaker built inside. So not only can you listen to that Spotify playlist that you uploaded over Wi-Fi to the watch, but you can also, you also have the ability to just write MP3s to the watch that aren't through a Spotify account. So you get your music either way. The watch does have a speaker built into it. It's not loud. Like it's not the loudest speaker, but it's loud enough to hear what you need to hear. And you can connect this to your phone and do two-way calls through the watch. So you could just speak into it like your Dick Tracy and have a two-way conversation with the microphone built in to the watch as well as the speaker right now then because it has the microphone built into it you can also pair it with your assistant you can make like uh there you can do things where like if you there's so many things you can do i'm not even going to talk about it i'm not even going to talk about it i was going to get deep into it but i'll just say this you can have garmin pay on your watch so you can have like barcodes or qr codes on your watch that you can scan to get your points you know what i'm saying or pay for your things you can set up your credit cards with Garmin Pay to have that. And then you don't even have to take your card out. Uh, you just scan it or uh, not tap it, not tap it, just scan it. Very cool. There's a lot of great features. And then with the development, with the community that develops apps, there's so much more that you can do with it. So literally a little computer on your arm. Uh, and again, today it's $500 and 44 cents. Uh, magnetic connecting charging. No, no, it's not magnetic. I'll show you. I'll show you what it is. It like clips in. <laughs> it like clips in. It, it's not a magnet. It just kind of like click, like a little click. You know what I'm saying? So here's that. You know, oh, uh, we're, I was showing it to the microphone. <laughs> oh my goodness. So here's that little universal. Uh, you can put your charger in any way that you want with the. Uh, with it. It's a little dark. It's a little dark back here. I should get another light, but so that's the charger. And then here's the proprietary uh, uh, connector, right? So it just clicks, clicks into place. Listen, I mean, it doesn't even click into place. Just kind of holds in with a little bit of force, I guess. Uh, and this is what it sounds like when you unplug it. So really just kind of like a little kind of nub that it plugs in. It's not magnetic. <clears throat> okay, I'm going to leave the watch off and let's move on to the next product here in our carousel. And that's going to be the Noco Genius. Cool, I got this. <clears throat> I got the Noco Genius right here. Oh, I dropped my uh, alligator clips. Let me go grab them, okay? Boom. Okay, so this is the Noco Genius 2x2 battery charger. Let me grab those alligator clips real quick. <clears throat> Pardon me, and talk to you about this. This is the Noco Genius 2x2 battery charger. This is a 4 amp battery charger that is two 2 amp battery banks. It's IP6X weather resistant. You can get this a little dirty and a little oily. It's really strong. When you try to flex it, there's no flex. This battery charger charges two, um, this battery charges up to two batteries at the same time, uh, made up of lead acid or AGM battery or lithium batteries of a 12 volt nature. This also charges six volt batteries and it has the ability to force a charge into a dead battery. And if the genius charger even detects a single volt, then the battery charger will go into recondition mode and attempt to recondition that battery from a dead state. So a really smart charger, uh, really cool. It has proprietary um, connectors on it. Okay, we're going to talk about the alligator clips that are included here with the Noco Genius, okay? <coughs> Excuse me. 
Here we go. Let's do it real quick because we talk about it a lot. It's got a short lead that has eyelets in it that you can unscrew and then permanently attach this lead to your battery. So that's really cool. And then it comes with a 10 foot extension cable. So uh, all of them have the proprietary connectors on them that have dust caps. So this is a really great kit. Uh, and because it's two, two amp banks, you get two sets of alligator clips and you get two um, 10 foot extension cords in the box. The Noco Genius uh, two by two, four amp charging station is really great. Uh, you can use this on cars, trucks, uh, scooters, skidoos, anything that has a battery, basically you can charge and you can take like for seasonal stuff for like snowmobiles and, and seasonal toys. You can take your batteries out or leave them in. You can leave them in. Uh, you can leave your batteries in and then plug this in. I bring mine in because I don't have a garage, but you can leave this plugged in in the right outside conditions. You know what I'm saying? You don't want it to be out in the rain all season, indoors, in a garage. Okay. But you can charge two things and then you can just never run them and then just have the battery charger maintain the battery for the duration of the off season so that when you're ready to use it, you're your, your battery is good to go. You're going to have a strong, powerful battery with your Noco Genius 2x2. If two 2-amp two banks isn't exactly what you're looking for, then you can consider clicking through the carousel, okay, and learning more about different Noco battery charging products. They also make some pretty great booster packs as well as some other products uh, that you can learn more about, as I said, by clicking through the carousel and navigating to the Noco store. Today, the Noco Genius 2x2 is available for $99.95, and it has a four-and-a-half star review with 2,700 reviews. Okay, cool. I like the thing. Do you like the box on the thing? Is the box thing cool? This is cool, right? <laughs> All right, what's the next one that we got? What's up, Shay? Thanks for coming out. Yo, we're going to talk about the Quintus now. I got the Quintus right here. I got the Quintus IntelliSense. This is the Quintus. Uh, okay, let's do it like this. This is the Quintus IntelliSense Smart Personal Device Charging Station. Uh, I've, I've all I've misplaced my base, y'all. I think it fell under the couch. So we're just going to talk about the device and not the little, the little base that comes around it, the little U-shaped base here. But yeah, let's talk about this. This is going to be the Quintus IntelliSense Smart Charging Device. Uh, we can unplug all this stuff. For now, for now, we can unplug it. Okay. So yeah, this is it. This is the device right here. We can even unplug the phone. Okay, so this is the Quintus IntelliSense Smart Charging PD. Look, it's got three USB ports and two USB-C ports. It's kind of dark, isn't it? There we go. It's got three USBs and two USB-Cs. Um, and this puts out up to 65 watts on the center USB port. So you can charge tablets and laptops with this. And then the two bottom ports, the two white ones, they're going to put out two volts, uh, uh, five volts, two amps. So you can charge your cell phones with that really well. Now I got this. It just takes one plug in the back. You can just plug it uh, one plug into five USBs. Pretty useful, at least for me around here. I find this extremely useful and it does offer different power modes. So um, it offers volted 20 volts, one and a half amps at 30 watts max on the USB-C 2 port and up to 20 volts, three and a quarter amps at 65 watts max on the USB-C 1 port, okay? And then the USB-A port, which is the center one, I'm gonna point these out again, uh, pushes out power up to 20 volts, one and a half amps at 30 watts. So, so USB-C port two, you, here, which way? This way? There. USB-C port 2 and USB port A uh, 1 put out the same. And then this is a little bit weaker. And then these two are good for cell phones. This has a cute little base that you can set it on. I think I knocked mine under the couch or something. It's been, it's been, I don't know. It's been missing for a couple days. So I'm going to find it and show it to y'all. But I don't use the base anyway. That's why I'm not so personally concerned about it. This is great. I use this for every show. Because, oh, did my camera freeze up? Um, I don't know. No, I don't know. Okay. Uh, I use this for every show. This powers the iPhone that we run the carousel on. So let's get that plugged back in right now. And then we're going to plug this back into where it goes. And that should be good. Cool. The Quintus is available today for $35. It has a four and a half star rating. 
excuse me, has a four and a half star rating with 400 reviews. I ate some Melba toast and some lunch meat before we started the show today. Now my belly's digesting. <clears throat> okay, let's take a look at the Rosetta Star Projector next. I got that bad boy right here. Yo, okay. This is the Rosetta Star Projector. We can open this one up and put it right in front of the box today. When we open the box, we get an instruction manual as well as the device itself. Okay. And that's this right here. Boom. Okay, let's pull it back a bit. This is the device. It's got a nice little lens that diffracts light and makes it look like the northern lights on your ceiling. This is really cool. It's got a laser light on it as well. We can hold it up like this. It's got a laser light on it. And so you can uh, project green stars onto the ceiling. It's a green laser light that makes stars on the ceiling. This is really fun. It's got a Bluetooth speaker built into it. So you can pair your phone to it if you need some nice relaxing sounds to play with your northern lights on the ceiling. This also... Uh, has built-in sounds to it, and it has an ability to react to um, audio in the room. You can toggle the lights, the Aurora Borealis, the northern lights uh, that it puts out. The Aurora has four different colors that can be mixed and matched to your desire, so it's RGBW. Uh, it has three different speeds of moving the Aurora and a few other options like timers and some other things like that. This is really fun, and this is really popular. The Rosetta Star Projector, uh, it has over 11,000 reviews today, making it four and a half stars. Uh, it's 33% off today and uh, making it 40 bucks, making it 40 bucks. Randy Dresden, I'm sorry that I missed your coupon for the Quintus, and I'm going to talk to everybody right now, okay, about the additional 10% off coupon that is on this already great deal. 33% off plus an additional 10% off, so... Uh, yeah, from $60 down to $40, and then 10% is 4 bucks, so 36 bucks. So 36 bucks today for the Rosetta Star Projector. I have one. I got it right here. It's pretty cool. Uh, I use it, and it adds great ambiance to the room. Now, admittedly, oh, also one other thing I'll tell you is that it, it draws its power from a USB-C connection, okay? Uh, and I, I, I don't know. I got so many products. I, and I open them, and I, I just don't know if I got a USB-C with this. I think I asked myself that the last time, and I checked the product manual. Yes. So this does come with a USB-C cable, uh, but not an adapter. So it's like 5 volts, 3 amps, like a cell phone, okay? So, yeah, the Rosetta Star Projector is really fun. Uh, check it out today. Okay, I want to see if I froze up here. I want to see if I froze up on the show. I don't think I am. It doesn't look too bad. It doesn't look too bad. Oh, I did freeze up. I did freeze up. So the camera two did freeze up a little bit. Okay, cool. Yeah, okay. Well, you know what? I'm learning OBS. I've been learning it backstage. I've been trying. And uh, it's not the hardest thing. But uh, I'm still trying to make it do exactly what I want it to do. And we're getting close. But I thought we could do this little two-camera setup. A few hiccups on Friday the 13th isn't going to be a problem. I think this looks pretty good. What's up, Boston Butterfly and Kmart Kelly? Thanks for hanging out here. Uh, thanks for joining us here on today's show. Hope you got some time to hang out with us. Uh, and Yeah, we're just kind of running it like this. We got the Blake cam, and then we got the product box cam today. So let's keep it flowing and talk about the Tribate radio now. <clears throat> okay. So boom, right? Uh, boom. There we go. Okay. So this is the Tribit alarm clock. It's the Tribit home wireless home speaker. And this is really cool. It has uh, the ability to connect to it over Bluetooth. It's got a micro SD card reader uh, in the back. So you can have uh, memory card music to it. It's got an FM tuner. It has a audio in jack, a three and a half millimeter audio in jack. And it has built-in audio like light music and white noise and birds and stuff like that. So uh, five different ways to get audio into this device is pretty cool. Uh, and yeah, like I was saying, right on the back, it does have that USB. It does have that micro USB. You know what? I'm going to turn on a few more lights in the kitchen and just see if that helps with the darkness on the second camera today. And let's just see if we can get a little more light on the subject in here. And I'm not entirely sure that that's going to be the case, but let's see. 
any way. Okay, let's see. Anyway, you know what I got? I got that little key light. I got that little key light. Maybe I should try that out next time. Okay, uh, let's see what the back looks like now. Uh, yeah, it's a little more lit up. It's a little more lit up. Okay, uh, so the Tribit Home wireless home speaker has that micro SD card slot, that audio in jack, as well as the AC plug in jack. Now, if I didn't mention it, it does have the FM receiver. So Wi-Fi, I mean, excuse me, Bluetooth, memory card, FM receiver, audio in, yeah, and the, and the, and the, and the white noise. Now you get an FM antenna included in the box with this. This is really cool. We'll pull this back. Uh, you get a FM antenna included in the box with this. You also get the AC adapter. Uh, this is a nice alarm clock that is like nice and heavy. Uh, not nice and heavy, but weighted so that when you hit it in the morning, it's not going to go flying. It has a it has a 50% off coupon today. That's great. Okay, so this Tribit radio that we're talking about is seventy dollars but it has a 50% off coupon. So $35 for this alarm clock today. It's got a nice fabric on the front and on the rear of it. And as we were talking about inputs previously, I also want to point out that it does have a USB-A port behind this little cover here. And that's five volts, three amps, uh, or five volts, two amps. And then it has a USB-C on the front. That's five volts, three amps, or five volts, two amps. They interchange. Let me see. I always forget. Five volt. So it's five volts, three amps on the USB C and five volts, two amps on the USB A out. So you can charge your device while running a wire into it. So that's really cool. Like if you need to, um, it's split by this diffused piece of plastic that offers a strobe light effect as well as a rainbow chasing effect, as well as a, a, a strobing effect that is affected by the music that plays through the Tribit wireless home speaker. This is really cool. We gave one of these to the niece for Christmas and she seemed to like it. And I'm going to hit her up in like another month or so and see if she's been using it and how she enjoys it. It's got a nice ring with the touch with uh, touch controls. When you press these controls, there's no physical button. You just tap it. You just tap it to work it. So you get the ability to work through your source, your different built-in noises. You can toggle through the lights and then navigate through your radio and tracks accordingly. When you plug this in and turn it on, it's going to ask you to set the time and then it's instantly going to go into Bluetooth pairing mode and you can just escape that by pressing the source button here. So again, the Tribit Home wireless home alarm uh, uh, speaker, Tribit Home wireless home speaker, it's available today for $69.99 with a huge 50% off coupon. Click through the carousel and learn about more Tribit products today because they have a lot of great stuff. I got some new Tribit stuff. We talked about it yesterday. And let me full stop. I watched some, I watched some, um, I watched some uh, content about this company. It's Tribit. It is Tribit. I thought it was Tribit because there was one B in the middle and you spell ribbit with two B's, right? Ribbit, Tribit, right? So that's what I thought. It's not Tribit. It is Tribit. So I've got to correct the way that I talk about the name of the company. It's Tribit Home. And uh, you know what I watched? I encourage you to do this. We're not going to watch it on today's show, but I encourage you to go find the Tribit commercial for the Stormbox Blast. The Stormbox Blast. We took We took a look at it yesterday. I don't know where I put it. It's over in the other room right now. It's right here. Uh, well, we're talking about Tribit products, so I can talk about it real quick. Yeah, you know, I got the Tribit Stormbox Blast, and we talked about this yesterday. And uh, after we talked about it on the show, I went to see what Tribit had to say about it through their own promotion. I wanted to learn a little more about it. And uh, they have a really, really funny old school commercial that has like a DeLorean in it and a hip hop scene. And they talk and they like rap that's like boom boxes and stuff. It's really cool. Uh, let me know if you watch that commercial. It's really fun. Okay. But once again, I'll repeat what I said a moment ago. The Tribit uh, Home up uh, wireless home speaker is available for today for $70. And it has a 50% off coupon. When you click through the carousel, you can see that. What's up, Cool Shopper? Thanks for joining us one minute ago. Uh, Stargazer, sorry, I missed you a moment ago. Welcome, Boss and Butterfly and Kmart Kelly. I definitely greeted you all a moment ago. And uh, yeah, so yeah, I got some company coming over tonight. So we're focused on a tight two. I know I love to talk. So we're going to keep it moving here on today's episode of Clown Live. And we're going to talk about the five fine wireless microphone. 
Now, you know what? I always make this excuse. I'm like, oh, I don't go outside. I never go outside. I, I, I don't go anywhere and buy batteries. Still true. Still true. Uh, the the uh, camera doesn't work great for the box today because we don't have the, uh, yeah, it's really dark over here. Can we turn this light a little bit maybe? Does that help a little bit? Helps a little bit. It helps a little bit. Uh, this is the Five Fine wireless microphone. Uh, it's kind of hard to see because it's so uh, dark and black plastic, but this is it. Uh, it comes with a, a headset that plugs into the device as well as um, like a lavalier mic, a lapel mic. So that's cool. I like this. Uh, I had another one. I got it and then it didn't last as long as I had wanted it to or expected it to. And so we had, I had to get a new one. And uh, yeah, this has like this kind of like one that you put on your head. And I'm not a big fan of this. I don't really like how this one feels or looks or even if I put it on wrong. I think it might go like this. I'm still not a fan of this. I, I, I don't know. I don't like this overhead design. But uh, it does have the lapel mic. And what's cool about this is that it kind of has like a little mini sort of XLR connection on it. It's got like a nice three-prong connection that plugs really uh, uh, easily uh, and only one way into, into it, right? And that's going to be from the back. So we plug it from the back. Just like that. And now it's got a nice secure connection. So when you run this cable down the back of your shirt, you don't have to be worried about moving and pulling this out. Uh, it's going to stay in very well good. And then when it's time to unplug it, we just pull it out really simply like that. And that's almost it. There is a little receiver that you plug into your receiving device, your computer, obviously, for this. And then it does have also, as you can see, it's marked with a little microphone, a little headphone image. There is a headphone jack on the front of this. So the person that is doing the production can monitor what they hear coming out of this and make adjustments accordingly on your mixer. Okay, that is available for $42.99 today. It says a four-star review with a 1,000 reviews. Uh, this does operate on a UHF frequency. And so whatever that means, <laughs> uh, the UHF frequency is what is um, communicating between the the device and the receiver oh, i got my thing here i gotta put that back too uh like i said it's available today not on deal it's 42 dollars 99 this is going to run on two double a batteries and i just did not go buy two double a batteries i still haven't been to that spot uh i did ask Mima to grab me some at groceries last weekend and then it's not a common thing that we get so slipped her mind Slipped her pretty mind. Okay, let's talk about the SRM knife now. This is the 7228GL. Uh, okay, so we got this. Where do we put it? Right here. Okay, so this is going to be the SRM knives that we... Uh, this is the SRM knives 7228 Ambilock <clears throat> uh, knife. This knife is model number 7228L-GV. Okay, this is the GV model. This is what the knife looks like. When we open it up, you can see that it has a nice black coated blade. Uh, I use this knife for opening a lot of boxes and whatnot. So <clears throat> it's got a little, it's got a little bit of tape residue on it. Now I love this knife. It's very, very sharp. And like I said, this is the 7228L. This is the L. This is the GV. It's so many letters and numbers. 7228L, okay, dash GV. We're going to call this the GV. The SRM Knives GV not only has that really nice coated blade, but it comes in two different colors, blue or red. It's got a nice, um, uh, I think it's a composite handle, and it's got that really nice, uh, it also features uh, an ambidextrous locking mechanism. So whether you pull it uh, from the left or the right side, you can fold the knife in how you need to. Uh, this is a sharp knife. I've cut my hand on it since I've owned it for a year. I haven't had to sharpen it. It just stays pretty sharp. Now, admittedly, I'm cutting tape and opening boxes. I just want to make that real clear. But yeah, uh, the SRM, aka Stay Ready for More, okay, that's SRM, has this knife. That's what we're talking about here. This is the 7228L GV. Now, what you need to also know about this particular black coated knife is that SRM is has now re-released the GV 
and they're calling it the GV2, okay? And the difference between the SRM GV, uh, excuse me, the difference between the GV and the GV2 is that the GV2 has more of a stone wash finish uh, instead of this black coated blade. So it's still black, but it's more like stone wash and not solid black. That happened uh, at the end of 2022. So once the last stock of the uh, of the GVs uh, deplete, then I don't believe that there will be another reissue. And they'll just keep making the exact same knife just with that stone wash handle. Uh, okay, one other thing that I can tell you about the knife is that it does have a little pocket clip on it. And that pocket clip is also ambidextrous. You can just pinch it together and push it out and then turn it around and put it in the other side. Clicks right into place and it's good to go. The SRM knives 7228L-GV is available today for $42.95. Hey, what's up, Lori B? What's up, Rover? Saying hi to Lori. How y'all doing? Y'all enjoying saying hi to each other tonight? Because I'm having a blast on Friday talking to y'all about different products that we got going on. And we just wrapped up talking about the 7228L-GV. This is an everyday carry knife. This EDC is totally available. Click through the carousel. There's not going to be too many more of these black blade, black coated blades left. Uh, and then you'll have to get the stone wash version. Uh, okay, so that's it. Four and a half star rating, two reviews. I'll give it a five. I'll give it a five. It's pretty great. Okay, let's move on to another product here in our carousel, and that's going to be Popco tongs. Now, we used Popco tongs this afternoon, so we're going to show two. Now, Popco tongs doesn't have a box, so let's put the big boys here, and let's put the red boys like this, okay? Just like that. Uh, just like that. How's that look? Okay, these are the original Popco tongs. This comes in a set of three. This has over 15,000 reviews, five stars. Five-star review with over 15,000 reviews. This is on sale for 57% off today. Uh, making it $12.99. This set is regular $30 bucks. today. It is on sale for $12.99, okay? Um, uh, yeah, double the fun. Well, we have the little box set up here. So, yeah, there's definitely two Blakes. Let me know what you think about the setup. We are featuring the products on the table so that, uh, yeah, just kind of experimenting with a new way, uh, a new look until uh, we settle into an even newer look that I'm working on behind the scenes. Double mint twins. Uh, I wouldn't say double mint twins. I would use something more derogatory. <laughs> I would probably use like a more derogatory word than double mint, but very funny. Very funny. Uh, yeah, the Popco twins, uh, the Popco twins, the Popco tongs, okay, they are available in this three-piece kit, like I'm saying, for 13 bucks. And you get these big green ones, as well as these smaller red ones, the medium-sized red ones. And they make a smaller version that is uh, like an orangish color. They're in my dishwasher right now, so it'd be it. But they're all exactly the same. You know, they're just uh, different sizes. The orange ones are like as tall as this, basically. And yeah, these are stainless steel coated in silicone. They have great flex to them when you hold them and like turn them back and forth. Like that doesn't flex too much. Uh, they're really quiet. They don't really click a lot. Like they don't click loudly. It's a satisfying click. Uh, these spring back. They feel good in your hands. And like all good tongs, when you close them, you can pull it out and it stays locked so that they don't pop open. This is a great kit. Uh, with 15,000 reviews, five stars for 13 bucks. You can't go wrong. We've given some of these sets away here on Clown Live in the past. And uh, the Popco Twins. Yeah, geez. Maybe I should start calling myself the Popco Twins. Uh, once again, 13 bucks for the three-piece. And the other ones uh, are in the sink. So let's keep it going. We're going to talk about 300 clear plastic forks now. And these are by a company called... Presti, the Presti box of 300 clear forks is available for $24.99. If you got to get your party popping, uh, you can get these forks. They come in bags. They come in bags of 50 and uh, you get what, six bags in there then? Six bags of 50. These clear forks are pretty, pretty standard looking forks. They got a good resilience to them. Their tines are very strong. When you push them with your fingers, like they bend. But they, they will break. It's plastic, but like I'm really, really flexing that. And uh and they're not they're not they're not bending back. So I like that. Um 
when you use these for like one time plastic use, they're going to stab the things that you need. They're going to fork the things that you need to fork very well. <clears throat> uh, this box of plastic forks has over 7,000 reviews. It's on deal today. It's 9% off, making it $25 for 300 forks. This is what we got here. It's 300 clear plastic forks, okay? Uh, they make the spoons. They make the knives. They make little champagne flutes. They make plates. They make napkins. Presti, if you need to fuel a party for, one, for plastic wear, they got you covered. They make it in a bunch of different colors. Presti makes a lot of cool stuff. If 300 plastic forks is not what you're looking for, but you'd still like to plan a party, click through the carousel. Check out the Presti store and learn more about all the different stuff they got. They got like these wedding sets where they give you the whole set of silverware in the napkin with the cup and it's colored. You can get gold ones and stuff. It's pretty cool. <clears throat> okay, let's talk about the Ninja Blender now. I got all this stuff with the Ninja Blender. <clears throat> okay, so this is the Ninja QB 1004 Blender. I don't know. I never clicked on this. Let's see what exactly what they call it. Let's see exactly what they call this. They call this the, the Ninja QB 1004 Blender Food Processor with 450-watt base, 48-ounce pitcher, 16-ounce chopper, and 40-ounce processor bowl for shakes, smoothies, and meal prep. This has a 15% off deal today, making it $50.99. And uh, I love this thing. We used it on the show and showed how it works a few times. Uh, so this is what you get. You get the 16-ounce chopper here. And the 16-ounce chopper has this little blade. Let me put the motor down so I can use both of my hands for a second. The 16-ounce chopper has this double blade design. And uh, you can make it a single blade design by just turning it and lifting it off really easily. Uh, these are dishwasher safe, so that's really good. So these have a little hole in the bottom of them, and it just lines up with like a little piece of metal that is molded into the chopper itself. It's the same for all the blender products, for all the Ninja Blender products. So it spins pretty easy. Uh, it's got a top that we put on. It doesn't stay secure on. It just sits on with gravity. And then we got the 450-watt motor that clips into place really easy. Everything's just held in by gravity. Once you got it in there and plugged in, you press your button, you zip your thing, you make what you, we make hummus in this. We made some garlic in it a, a week or two ago, and this is really cool. So what you see here is completely able to be replicated with the with the 48 ounce blender behind me okay so this has a three blade system in it that is not movable uh it's always three blades in the blender and what i really love about the ninja setup here is that you can have just one motor to control all these different devices you know what i'm saying which is really great now the this does offer uh the lid for the motor for the pitcher and it does have a spout on it as well. They, and both the chopper and the blender here have these plastic lids that you can just keep the food in after processing and put it away. Uh, as you can see, well, I guess I shouldn't shake my desk too hard. But uh, even though it moves a little bit, it does have a nice rubber grip on the, on the bottom of the blender. And uh, yeah, I mean, like I'm pushing it from the back at about the midway point. It's like trying to tip. It wants to tip before it wants to move. You know what I'm saying? So a nice rubber grip on the bottom of this, and uh, everything looks great on a nice sturdy surface. The Ninja QB1004 Blender Food Processor with the 450-watt base is available today for $50.99. It's regular $60. Bucks. It's on for $51 today. Now, I want you to know, that what we're looking at is just two parts. We got the 16 ounce chopper and the 48 ounce pitcher. But when you click through the carousel and add this item to your cart today, 
uh, you also get the 40 ounce processor bowl as well. Okay. I don't have the bowl. I just have these two pieces. So yeah, you get a little bit more than what I'm just showing. What's up Vicky. Thanks for joining three minutes ago. Appreciate you coming out. Uh, and yeah, so that's the Ninja blender. Now let's keep it moving. We're going to talk about the master Maison, uh, kitchen knives. So let's figure that out together. Okay. I got to grab that other blade last. <clears throat> Let's drink some more water. Pardon me. Okay, we can just set this blade over here. That's out of the way. Okay, now let's move this one over here and talk about the Master Maison Supreme Series 11-piece uh, kitchen knife set. The, the, the Supreme Series is amazing because the, this set embodies the uncompromising craftsmanship and durability Master Maison is known for. High-carbon German stainless steel combined with the unique grinding process results in blades that are easy uh, easy to use and maintain. Excuse me. They're easy to maintain. They are a joy to use and manufactured to last for years to come. Fit for a chef, yet made for the everyday cook. These are the Master Maison Supreme Series 11-piece knives. Now, this is what we get in the kit, okay? With the kit here right in front of me, you're going to get the block. We're just an inch not showing the bottom of the block. But you get the block. It's going to have a little sharpening piece on it, so at least it's not just a block. It does offer some functionality beyond holding the knives. In the case, in the kit, you're going to get an 8-inch chef knife. Now, these are nice knives. They're solid. They're solid piece. They're solid knives from the blade to the tang, and they have the handle riveted onto them in three different spots on both sides. Okay, now I'm kind of being a little dangerous there with the knife. Let me get it more back into my grip. Now, this is the eight inch chef knife. And essentially, all of these knives look exactly the same uh, with their high quality steel and aesthetic. The only one that's really different in this entire kit is the serrate, the eight inch serrated bread knife. And that's because it's serrated. Uh, beyond that, this is what else we get. We get an eight inch carving knife. Okay. Also in the kit, we get a few other knives that I want to show you. The five inch, um, this is the five inch utility knife. This is the five inch utility knife, a little bit uh, water spotty, but this is our water, our, our, uh, our utility knife. Also, there's a three and a half inch paring knife in this box. And in addition to that, you're going to have to round out the 11 piece kit for non serrated steak knives. So all, all very similar looking knives in the uh, Supreme Series uh, by Master Maison. This 11-piece kit is on deal today. It's 16% off uh, with over 11,000 reviews and four and a half stars. You can get this 11-piece Master Maison Supreme Series kit today, $57.99. This is regular $69. Bucks. It's down to $58 bucks today. Click through the carousel to learn about more Master Maison products. They've got bigger blocks than this if you're looking for more cutlery. <clears throat> okay, so I bet the Japanese Damascus knife is next because the Master Maisons are always paired together generally. Hey, what's up, Alyssa? What's up, Cool Shopper? What's up, Evans? What's up, Lori B? What's up, Travel Diva 2? What's up, Samantha Guevara? What's up, Randy Dresden? What's up, everybody doing the roll call? Thank you for joining me on Friday the 13th here on Clown Live. Um, uh, we should show the NECA clown it maybe later since it's Friday the 13th, but let's keep it going right now with the Damascus steel chef's knife. This is also from Supreme. This is the Supreme series by master Maison. This is the Damascus steel knife. And, uh, before we open this really beautiful box that it comes in. Okay. Let's read the back of the box. The box says this knife embodies the uncompromising craftsmanship and durability master Maison is known for. Imported AUS-10 Japanese steel, premium grade steel that's a cut above the rest, combined with our unique grinding process results in a razor sharp blade that's easy to maintain, a joy to use, and manufactured to last for the rest of your life. Fit for a chef, 
yet made for the everyday cook. Okay, so that's this. That's the this is the Damascus steel knife. Um, it doesn't look as good in front of that camera. Let's put it in front of the, uh, this camera here. Okay, let's pop this uh, down like that. Just like that. Uh, yeah, this is the Damascus steel knife. It's pretty nice. I like the Damascus on it. Uh, it definitely looks like it's machine sharpened. But what's nice about this knife is that it does come with a sharpening stone in the box. And I'm going to show you that right now, the uh, the sharpening stone and the nice uh, fiber and felt, the nice foam and felt lined um, uh, box that the knife comes in is also very aesthetically pleasing. All right. And uh, yeah, I'll put this back here. And then also it comes with a cleaning cloth. It comes with this nice cleaning cloth uh, for when you're sharpening it or whatever. So I like that. It's got the flowers in, in, uh, embroidered on it. And then, yeah, we looked, we took a look at the knife. So the final thing really is just that it has this nice kind of plastic sort of insert or Teflon or whatever, so that you can put the knife back and protect the case that it comes in. Uh, we pop this bad boy back down in here like that. Give it a little peek. Very nice. Very nice. Now this has an olive wood handle. Oh, let's put this back in place. This has an olive wood handle on it. Uh, it's a solid piece, olive wood handle, and it's got a really beautiful uh, looking um rivet that holds that handle to the knife very well okay the 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 master maison authentic japanese damascus knife that we just put back is available today on deal it's 25 percent off making it 100 dollars 99 cents that's four and a half stars with 229 ratings and uh yeah vicky e kmart kelly um gizmo carol wiley s what's up all you guys thanks for doing the roll call in today's chat and now let's uh oh that's it that's it that's all my physical products man we did all my physical products okay all right cool we did all the physical products let's talk about the uh i guess we're done with the b camera Yeah, I'm done with this camera. Cool. Yo, we're here. Let me check my phone real quick in real time because I am expecting uh, my homie to come over here and I just want to be in good communication with him. He says, I'll tell you what he says. He says, Thumbs up. Gives me the thumbs up icon. Cool. Well, he might show up in the next hour, but now that we're on what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, we're going to smash this out in way less than an hour. Okay. And then we'll just chill because I got to hang out until seven. So let's do it. Let's talk about the One Audio A11 wireless headphones. Before we do that, you know, you know, we got to get it set up. So let me do that real quick here. Uh, Okay, so that's these headphones, and uh, we're going to just stick with the classics this week instead of feeling frustrated going into the weekend, and we're just going to play the videos in windowed mode. We're just going to play the videos in windowed mode, okay? That's what we're going to do today uh, because all week we've been full screening the videos, and they've been giving us major problems. What's up, Margaret? Thanks for joining and doing the roll call today. Appreciate you coming out on Friday. Uh, we're just getting into our B-roll. We just started the back half of the show right now. And I think we're going to be well done before, you know what I'm saying? Seven o'clock. So let's do it. Let's share our screen. And, uh, I'm going to stay standing, I guess. I mean, I guess I might as well just stay standing. It's not a big deal. Uh, okay. Let's share our screen. Um, okay. So these guys are protect presenting me different things they put them out of order so let's do uh see if i do that yeah i'm not doing that okay let's just do entire screen like we're used to and now let's hit share let's hit share cool this should be good great awesome oh yeah let's switch to our other background with the name on it boom 
Okay, cool. Let's do this. Let's play this video about the One Audio A11 Bluetooth over ear headphones. And these are going to be presented to us by our friend, Dragon Blogger James. James here. Today, we're taking a look at the One Audio A11 Bluetooth headphones. These are our 5.2 Bluetooth over the ear style headphones. Now, these do have the CVC 8.0 microphone, which will actually work pretty well. Now, also is it for daily use and is hi-fi audio with deep bass. Now, it will do about two hours of charge time. You'll, for two hours of charging, you'll get about 32 hours of playtime off of this. That is actually very, very well. And very, so if you can nice. all click through this it like the video, that would be a big help. Size and very sensitive. Inside this, you'll have a carrying bag. You'll have cables. You'll have charging cables uh, and the headset itself. Well, I'm going to kind of show you guys this. Now, you have a USB to micro USB charging cable to charge this. And then you have a 3.5 to 3.5 if you want to use it without it being Bluetooth. Then you have this very nice pleatherette carrying pouch with the red drawstrings. And inside is where you'll actually see your headphones or headset itself. Now, this is where you'll be greeted with their very nice little logo, stitching and leather patterning on top. This is also where you'll see the headband strap. Now, usually I like to do a flex test, but I don't want to do that with these ones. You have their logoing on each side. Each one is labeled left and right. On the right side is where you'll find all of your buttons. You have your play, pause. Now, all these buttons do separate stuff. So like your um, plus button here is actually your volume or next track. The middle button is going to be your play button. Also is your power on and off. It is also your call and hang up button and pause button. You then have your third button, which is your volume or previous track uh, in there. So you are good to go. Then you have your super bass EQ bass mode or voice assistant on here, guys, if you need. That is your last button. Then you have your LED indicators and your built-in microphones and your plug-in. That is also where you're going to see on the opposite side of the headset is your charging cable. Now, guys, next up is what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect these up. I'm going to pair these up to the PC. You're going to hear the microphone from this and everything else. So if you guys give me a few seconds, let me switch views. Okay, now that I have the A11 hooked up, I did pair them Bluetooth-wise to the computer. Everything you're hearing from this is actually from this headset. I'm using this headset as a microphone. All uh, right, guys, very simple, very easy, guys. It takes very less than a little bit of time because I have a quick charger and give it enough charge to do this. Now, it will take about two and a half hours to fully charge this for 32 hours of playtime. The microphone sounds very, very decent, even with my AC going and my uh, air, uh, humid or air purifier, I should say, going on back there. But the one audio actually works very well. Now, I did play some music back. I played the video back that I did the microphone test in. Everything sounds very, very well. Now, the earmuffs on this set actually fits very nicely over my ears. I have tested another set out from them that was a little bit smaller and actually held onto my earring a little bit, but not a big deal, guys. The 40 millimeter drivers work very, very well. With the high res audio, it sounds good. Uh, if you're listening to country music, it sounds good. If you're listening to classical, it sounds great. If you're listening to rock, you definitely get those vocals Arlene and in your ear like you should. I mean, just perfect. Now, if you're listening to some dubstep, it's got the bass, guys. It does not fall flat on any of those, including the microphone. The microphone works great. If you're in the market for a Bluetooth headset with a 32-hour battery life, Maybe the One Audio A11 Bluetooth headset is the one for you. Thanks for checking this video out, and I hope you guys have a great one. Thank you, Dragon Blogger James, for hooking us up with that great review of the One Audio A11 Bluetooth over-ear headphones with 40 millimeter drivers. Today, these are available for $19.99, and Randy, I believe, told me that they have a $2 off coupon, so you can get these bad boys for uh, like 18 bucks. Pretty sweet. Check it out. Uh, by clicking through the carousel and learning more about these One Audio A11 wireless headphones. Yo, I put the link for the video that we just watched in today's chat. And if y'all are available to head over and like the videos, that helps our Amazon metrics a lot. It's kind of a new thing that I'm trying to uh, figure out. And so, uh, yeah, we got one additional like on that video. Thank you 
to the person who liked it. Okay. And uh, yeah, Linda, what's up? Thanks for following. That's awesome. We are doing $5 Amazon gift card giveaway right here on today's show. So uh, hurry up and say today's roll call. It is it is Friday the 13th. Say Friday the 13th in the chat and then head over to shoppingdragons.com slash win, okay? And enter your email into that form there to be entered into today's $5 Amazon gift card giveaway, okay? After you do that, Come back here, hang out with us. We're wrapping up our show. We're talking about a few more products. And um, when we're done talking about products, we're going to do the $5 gift card giveaway. So that's ultra fresh, ultra sweet, ultra fun. Uh, I heard Vicky's been on a roll today, apparently, I saw in the chat. So congratulations to you, Vicky, as well uh, for doing that. Maybe you'll get luck today. Now, I did say that it's a $5 Amazon gift card giveaway, but in reality, we're actually doing two. $5 Amazon gift card giveaways today on Friday the 13th. We're going to give one to first place and we're going to give one to 17th place today. So that's what's up. We're going to do two gift cards today when these products are done being spoken about. So let's move on so we can get to the clown race. We're going to talk about the One Audio uh, Monitor 80 Open Back Studio Headphones. And this is going to be a video presented to us by our friend. Nikita, okay? Dragon Blogger Nikita is going to talk to us about these headphones. Let me get this link in the chat, okay, before we play. And if you have the ability to head over to the link and like, that would be great. There's one like. I'm like number two. I'm like number two. Let me know if you like the video and thank you in advance if you do. Let's check out these one audio monitor 80 open back studio headphones. Hey guys, Nikita with Dragon Bloggers here to show you something that I'm really excited about. So I have a pair of new headphones and these are the One Audio Monitor 80s. These are open back headphones and they're absolutely amazing. They're set for 250 ohms of uh, impedance and they're just absolutely amazing wired over the ear professional studio headphones. Like, I love these things. Um, they feature a really nice high-end stainless steel honeycomb mesh. I'm going to bring it closer to the camera so you guys can see. These things are just absolutely fantastic. Now, what I love, the, before I just, you know, give you guys a rundown of this product, what I really like is that not only does it come as an amazing product it comes with this really nice carrying case too that's made of like a really hard plastic that has a very nice kind of velvety inside too and it comes with two cords so this one is a 3.5 millimeter to quarter inch jack that you can use to plug these either into like a guitar or an amp or something a DAC or an amp too uh, but you can also just simply feed the quarter inch side into the headphones and then plug the 3.5 millimeter into your computer right now i simply have the 3.5 millimeter into my computer because it's a little bit longer and easier for me to do. And they do recommend that you use this thing with a, uh, an amp, but I just have mine plugged in. And the audio quality is simply amazing. Now, one thing that I do love about it also is I have, I have as a gamer, I have had a lot, a lot of headsets. I, I go through headsets like no other, um, not because I'm rough with them, just because, um, you know, I, I, I like to constantly Siren. upgrade my sound. And this is probably the best upgrade that I've ever had. Currently, I have an Arctis 7 that I typically use for my standard gaming. But after feeling these, I'm definitely going to start using these for all of my purposes. Not only do they look better aesthetically, I really like the black, but they also have velvet ear pads that are soft to the touch and they provide so much comfort. Like these are the softest headphones that I've ever gotten to use. And not only that, but I love the, the sort of the open ear uh, for the headphones is like these have such high quality and I'm not using a DAC or an amp or anything. And the sound quality is absolutely stunning and amazing. I love this set. This is probably the best headset I've ever owned. It's made out of such good material. It looks really nice. It's very comfortable. Up, I can Woolwich? adjust it to however I want. As you guys can see, I have a bunch of hair. <laughs> and so it's, I'm able to adjust it comfortably. And like I said, these ear pads are a winner for me. So if you're looking for a really awesome set of studio quality earphones over the ear specifically to use these are really 
are really amazing. The open back style is fantastic. These are great for professional and uh, for pre professional studio sound. And they roll up really simply and have a really awesome carrying case too. So I, these are high on my list and I would highly recommend everyone to check these out. You couldn't possibly go wrong with these one audio. Thank you, Nikita, for the review on the One Audio Monitor 80 Open Back Studio Headphones. Today, these are available for $119.99, and they have a 20% off coupon. So thank you very much, Randy Dresden, for letting me know that. What's up, Jason Dial? Thank you so much. Is it Dale or Dial? Thank you so much, Jason Jackson. Jackson, excuse me. Let me say your name again. Thank you so much, Jackson Dale Dial. For, dude, let me try your name again. I think it's Dial. It's I've seen Dale. I've seen people say Dale, but I but it's spelled Dial. So what's up, Jackson Dial? Thank you for joining Clown Live today. Appreciate you in a major way. Please stick around and get entered for our five dollar Amazon gift card giveaway. Information for that is scrolling at the bottom of the screen. And uh, yeah, we're going to be doing that $5 giveaway super soon here. Uh, but yeah, we were talking about the price of the One Audio Monitor 80 uh, open back studio headphones that were reviewed for, by Nikita just now. And uh, yeah, they're 120 bucks and they're 20% off. So what's that like uh, 25 bucks, 24, $25 off. So you can get these for sub a hundred dollars today uh, with four star review and 214 reviews. Okay. Let's keep it moving. Now here, we're going to talk about the Prolux CTX canister vacuum and uh you know, it's all fun and games here. My favorite part of this video is when Nate accidentally spills all the water on the floor on the side of his toilet. But uh, that's just a fun, funny observation. This Prolux canister vacuum actually seems really fresh. And today it's uh, $900, okay? But let's watch this video uh, submitted to us by um, <clears throat> by Dragon Blogger Nate, okay? Reviewed by Dragon Blogger Nate. But before we do that, let's get the link for it in the chat. And if y'all have the ability to like the video, that would be great. I'm like number four on it. Let's watch it together now, okay? This is the Prolux uh, CTX vacuum. Yo, what's going on, guys? Nathana with Dragon Blogger Tech and Entertainment, and today we're going to be taking a look at this Prolux CTX water filtration UV filtered vacuum. So this is going to be a vacuum that is going to trump anything else you have. Inside of the instructions, they actually want you to test out your normal vacuum, your carpet shampoo, or whatever it is. Whatever you think cleans your carpets, try that first, and then go over the same area with the CTX right there. So we're going to go ahead and vacuum a portion with the vacuum on the left and then the same portion with the vacuum on the right all right so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and start off by using my shark vacuum now while i normally wouldn't think my vacuum is bad you guys are going to see here in the video shortly that this vacuum is almost a scam in a way. People are paying so much for these expensive vacuums that aren't cleaning their carpets. Now, while you can see some carpet lines signifying it does have some suction strength, if I go ahead and continue on and just try these CTX, as you guys can see right here, you're going to notice that there is so much more power inside of the CTX by Prolux. Now, just taking a look at this, one of the cool things about this vacuum is that it has the light feature on it. That's really nice. So if you're one of those people that like to vacuum in the dark or early mornings, late nights, anything like that, and you just need a little bit of a light in darker areas, this is definitely going to be something that's really awesome for that. So we're going to go ahead and wrap up now. One other feature I wanted to talk about was the fact that this propels itself forward, making it a little bit easier to vacuum. Let's see the results. So one of the first indicators that the CTX by Prolux is incredible is the carpet lines that left. That signifies there's a ton of suction strength, so it's definitely going to be getting up all of that dirt, debris, dust, pollen, whatever. All right, so what I'm about to show you is pretty gross, so fair warning. If you look inside of the water area where you're going to store all of your water, you guys can see that right there, that water looks disgusting. And this is recently after going over my carpets with a carpet shampooer that uses water on the carpet to clean. So let's dump this out and see how well it did. So like I said earlier in the video, I almost feel like all of the other vacuums and carpet shampooers I've purchased in the past have been a scam. You guys can see I spilled a little bit out there. Just make sure you're holding the nozzle in. But just look at how dirty and gross that water is. That's all the dirt from your shoes being tracked in, from dogs, from pets, really from whatever. Who knows what alien life forms are living in that water. But going back to what I was saying about my vacuums feeling like they're scams, 
This water is so dirty, and this is coming from somebody that vacuums every three days at minimum. And we even take the carpet shampooer to the carpets throughout the entire house at least once a month. But just looking at the inside of the bowl, you guys can see how much dirt this picked up. And that's doing that without actually applying any liquid to the carpets itself to extract it. So the CTX by Prolux works incredible. I went back over it a couple more times after this video just to make sure that it was picking up more dirt and the water got clearer and clearer with each time that I did it. So you definitely need to look into this. So that's going to be it for today's video. If you guys need a vacuum that you know is cleaning your carpets, check out the CTX by Prolux. It is a lifesaver. I think you guys will really enjoy it. I'm Nate with Dragon Blogger. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'll see you guys on the next one. Also, did you see how much Nate's hand moved in front of the vacuum at the end of the video? We wa I watch the videos a lot, so there's a lot of nuance to them that I don't notice every time. But yeah, I like I like how fast Nate's hand moved. There was another video that he did that is not the Prolux CTX vacuum, and uh, he uh, he was using his hands. So it's a very common it's a very common thing. I'm not knocking. I'm just saying it's I don't know why I think it's funny. Just because me and Nate are friends, so anything Nate does I think is hilarious. Okay. And uh, yeah, he was just talking about a product and he was showing the app or something and you could see his other hand moving in the reflection of the phone, whatever. I'm sure it's a, we talk about it often enough, so I'm sure I'll see it again and call it out the next time I see it. But okay. Thank you, Nate, for uh, talking to us about the Prolux CTX vacuum today. It is available for $899.99. Let's refresh the page. Did anybody else like the video? Uh, yeah, we got one other like. Awesome. Thank you so much for that. Let's get the link for the next product that we're going to talk about in our Amazon chat. And if you have the ability, please head over to the link, like the video. It helps us immensely here on Amazon. So uh, yeah, it would be a great, great help if you could go and like the video. I'm going to head over there and be like number 13. Okay, let's check it out. What we're talking about is going to be the Hogar Labs 50 pint dehumidifier. So let's take a look at this. This is going to be from our friend Dragon Blogger James. James here with a quick unboxing and showcase of a new product from Hogar Labs. This is their humidifier. This works. Seven for minute video, so we're definitely going to jump through a couple of the parts, okay? So very large houses, this will dehumidify. This also has. Uh, constant drain hose if you guys need that you can screw it in and it'll constantly drain into either a bucket sub pump or wherever you put it that way it always constant drains or you can use the 50 pint bucket and empty it out that way if you guys don't know what a dehumidifier is it pulls the water out of the air if you have excess water in the air so first let's pop this open as you guys can see we're going to try and pop this open as good as we can. Now, just remember, guys, this is a 32-pound product, so be careful lifting it. I wasn't kind of expecting it, and it was heavier than I thought. So inside here, guys, just a plain brown box. Once you open it up, a bunch of paper. What's up, Ian and Boss and Butterfly? First thing is, is the hose, and I'll kind of bring this to you. This is the corrugated hose, guys, that you can use. And I apologize the camera. Remember guys, this has wheels. So it is mobile. Just be careful guys, because it will roll around. Second, set the cardboard box aside. We don't need this. Here is our instruction manual guys. They do give you one. It is a nice flat envelope. Inside the envelope is the instruction. So we're gonna kind of set that down. Show you guys here, instruction manual for the dehumidifier. Pop it open inside here. Talks about warnings, what to use, how to use it, how to connect it, where to put it at least, you know, eight feet or eight inches away from walls and stuff. Shows you how to use the lock speed timer. So it has a fan speed, dehumidifier, modes, powers, and displays. Has handles, air intakes, drain hose outlets, universal wheel. So it has a 360 degree caster. Plus, you have your air outlet, your control panel, and the water tank. Now, this is quick, clean, easy, let it air dry before you put it back on. Put it back on. How easy is that, guys? Right? Just slides, pops. They have the cord tape right here. This is where you'll unscrew, guys, this, and then you pull this plug out. Remember to pull the core out inside here. This is the constant drain. You'll screw that hose on and very quick, very simple, very easy. 
down here. You can hide your plug in there or some other products. Uh, this is where you like put your cable. I'll kind of show you this. It does have a cable clip, guys. So just remember everything is taped, guys. Everything. So then make sure it's nice taped. If you guys want to run the has a handle up here. If you guys need to, it has a handle, as you guys can see. Very heavy, very sturdy. Now I'm going to bring you guys closer and show you the front panel so you guys can see how the front panel looks. So if you guys give me a second, we'll change views. Okay, here's your front power. This is your power button. This is your mode button. He made a fire button, right? The mode button will dry, continuously dry, or dehumidify. So you have three modes. The lock it in your mode that you want. You have your fan speeds, low or high, and you have your timer. Very easy, very simple, quick and useful. Now, there is a lot of tape around the product. Just make sure you pull the tape off. Guys, you don't really need it. Nice design, elegant little, little piece, almost like a little small. Okay, thank you, James, for talking to us about the uh, Hogar Labs 50 Pint Dehumidifier. Seems pretty straightforward over there with the dehumidifier. Uh, like any other particular one. Yo, we went from 13 to 14 likes on that video. So thank you to the person that liked it. If y'all have the ability to click through these links and like these videos, it really does uh, help facilitate our media, our, our reach here on Amazon. So I would definitely appreciate that. Now the Hogar Labs, we talked about, it doesn't have a price. So let me click through here somewhere, find it and get a price for that device. Okay. I should have checked that before we started talking about it. And it looks like there are options. Uh, range. I don't know how to find options ranging on the price. Looks like it's going to be priced sitting around 200 bucks. Hmm, 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 hmm. Um, I don't know how to see the more options price. Rover, can you help me and get me a price for the uh, Hogar Labs 50 pint um, dehumidifier? I don't know how to see options starting from. Oh, see all buying options. My bad. Okay, you just click it. Uh, one option buying starting at $399.99. So that is the option. I just had to click to it. I just had to click it on the right where I would have added it to my cart. Cool. Okay. So that is the Hogar Labs 50 pint dehumidifier covers up to 4,000 square feet. And, uh, yeah, that's the product. So let's move on now to the Govi RGBIC TV lights. Okay. I got that highlighted. Let me grab this, uh, link out of the, uh, let me grab this link and paste it in the chat. <clears throat> and if you can head over there and like the video, then that would be so helpful to us here on Shopping Dragons as well as Dragon Blogger Tech and Entertainment. I am going to be like number nine, and uh, let's watch this video. James here, and today we're taking a look at a product from Govi. This is the RGBIC TV light bars. Now, these are 15-inch light bars, guys. Now, the cool thing is these are Wi-Fi connectability or Bluetooth connectability. Now, I'll show you guys that. It does work with their Govi app. Now, this is where it gets cool. You can actually use this as placement uh, near the TVs, behind the TVs, on the TV. However you want, there's multiple positioning capabilities with this. Now, this works with any TV from 45-inch to 70-inch TVs. Now, it will also work with Google Assistant or Alexa if you really need. And they have the 31 plus vibrant scene modes, which is actually quite cool. Now, like I said, this is the light bar setup. We're going to pop this open. We're going to give you guys a look at this uh, and all of that cool stuff. And then we're going to actually set it up to the TV right behind you. Now, the uh, cool thing is, is uh, Govee made it smart for you guys. So you just literally pull this little tab up and you don't have to cut these no more. I like that they did that because honestly... I get tired of pulling out my knife and opening up packages all the time. Now, like I said, it does work with all of your, uh, you know, Alexa apps and all that if you really need. But download the Govi app to get the most control out of this. So first thing you're going to see is the user manual. Don't really need the user manual. Then you're going to see it's in a white box with a whole bunch of boxes. Yes, that's right, boxes. But what could be inside these boxes? So first we get this first box. I'm going to show you guys this. This is the actual controller right here. You'll see this controller. This controller will allow you to use this without the app. It does have a three-minute adhesive sticking tab, so you can stick it to anywhere you need. 
does have the lighting control, power control, and Bluetooth control all right there. Now, we're going to move on to the next little box right here. And this should be, if I'm correct, and I am kind of correct, these are mounting brackets for this device. Now, Yo, let's jump ahead in James's video and see these lights oh, turned course. on. It's like that. Because you, here's the lights go, on the that, box. You'll stand it right on the desk. If you don't want to go that way, the back has the slot mechanism, and that is where you'll actually take this piece and slide it in there, and you're good to go. Once you're in there, you're mounted, and you're ready to connect it wherever you want. So lighting and usability. Now, I'm going to actually connect this up. I'm not going to be able to record connecting this up, but I think I'm going to try it with just the stands at first to show you guys the stand. Then I'll switch over to the permanently mount, on the back of the TV to also give you that coloration indication. So the first look you guys are going to get is actually going to be in my bedroom near my big projection screen, showing you guys just the lighting real quick like. Okay, guys, now that you see I have the Govi RGBIC light bars hooked up, guys, I will talk about a few things. You guys see they're very bright and very ominous in this room in the setting. So it's definitely not where I'm going to leave these. Now, you will have to hook up the app. When you get into the app, guys, you will have to find the model number H6046 and pair it up. Once you pair it up, guys, you then have access to the app to control it however you want. Now, this app has everything you truly, truly want, including what I have connected, and that is the light bars. Now, you can actually shut these off separately and shut one off, and you guys will see that I shut that off. Now, I can turn that one back on and shut the other off. If I want, you can play with us whatever one you truly, truly want to have on. Now we can go to music mode. The music mode is where it's going to start getting really, really cool and start reacting. I'm going to shut some lighting off. This is where you're going to guys see it in full effect. That is very cool. It's reacting to my voice, of course. Now I can adjust the sensitivity or change the rhythm of that with that music voice. Or we can go to strike mode, which is actually quite cool. Uh, we can go to vibrate mode. We can even do shiny. Shiny is actually, I like shiny. Now rainbow effects, of course, tap, tap, tap. It's going to just start just dropping up and down. Or we can go into torch mode. Torch mode is just like a flame wall moving. I really, really like that one. Then we got beat. To the beat, y'all. We go to the beat, to the beat, to the beat, to the beat. And now it's going to just start bouncing around. Now we can go into solid colors, of course. If we want, we can just adjust it. You know, we will have to literally, we can adjust it all the way up. Or if we want, we can click all these little separate lights. And when I do this, I can pick a different color. Red, greens, blues, oranges, anything and everything I want. Now we do have scenes. We have snowflake, which will just pop over one at a time. We can do blooming. That's just a nice little vibrant color. Fires, meteors. Then we can go into life. Life would be like a tunnel going into a tunnel. Sleep modes, we can go into party mode. Party mode is where it's at, right? Then we have the funny ones. We can do drum beats, right? Drumming beats. We can do fright modes. Uh, glitter effect, just like that if you want okay, the glitter. Okay, so lots of effects, Crossing. lots of effects. Thank you, James, so much for talking to us today about the Govi RGB IC TV light bars. Uh, they are available today for $69.99, and I think... I think Randy said there was a coupon for it. Is, am I right there? The Govi RGB IC TV light bar has a $10 coupon, making it $59.99 today. Thank you, Randy, for the update on the coupon. Okay. So with that, uh, let's see how many more likes we got. I was like number nine, and now we have 11 likes. Thank you to the two people that liked that video. Let me grab the next uh, video here and put the link in the chat. And again, if y'all have the ability, please head over to this link. Okay. Head over to the link, like the video. It helps us immensely. Kind of a little mission that I'm on trying to get some more likes on our B-roll here. So uh, I'm going to go like it. I'm going to be like number three. I'm like number three. And let's check this out. These are going to be the Gobi Links Outdoor. See, what is the difference between these lights and the lights that I have? What is the difference between these lights and the lights that I have? Hold on a second. Because I got these lights. And I feel like, I feel like, I don't know. I feel like, why do I show the B-roll when I think I have the light? Yo, what are we looking at? Just me. Okay, get, let me check my product page real quick here. 
Uh, we got a lot of time on the show. We got a half an hour left, and there's only like a few products left. So I'm going to slow down a little bit, and uh, we're going to highlight the Govi Smart Outdoor Lights because that's what we're going to talk about next. But let me uh, let me click on the link. Let me click on the link. Uh, Govi String Lights with 30 dimmable RGB LEDs. Okay, so this is not what I got. Okay, so this is not the product that I have physically. So a similar product, but a different product nonetheless. Okay, so humidifier, TV light, okay, outdoor lights. Um, I liked it to be like number three, so I put the link for this in the chat. Yes, yes, I did. Okay, so if you can like this video that we're going to play next, ultra helpful. Let's get into it. Yo, what is going on, guys? Nate with Dragon Blogger Tech and Entertainment. Today, I am super excited to showcase to you the Govi Links rgb ic led light strips so these are going to be hanging light bulbs that are completely led powered and they have a ton of effects so you guys can kind of see that i have them poorly hung up around my room i honestly thought while i was installing these they were going to look a lot better and better installed than they are now but you guys can see they're up nonetheless let's go ahead and go over all of the features that these include so these are the 48 foot version. I have them wrapped all the way around my room. But if you guys want to install these indoors or outdoors, don't worry about it. You can definitely do that being that these aren't real bulbs. They're just a hard plastic. They're super easy to get installed. All I did is I used double sided sticky tape to hang up over the cables that you guys can see. You might be able to see the little white strips right there. So currently we have these on the sunset glow mode. Now inside of the Govi app, you're gonna have a ton of control over those. So if I go ahead and go to the Govi app right here, you guys can see I have all of my Govi products lined up right here. I'm able to turn off the smart lights if I want to directly from the app. Give it a second, it'll turn off. Depending on your Wi-Fi, it might be a little bit slower, a little bit quicker. But what we'll go ahead and do now is we'll go ahead and tap into the light panel right here and i'm going to go ahead and show you guys some of the awesome features that these have so you guys can see inside of the app you're going to have a ton of controls you're going to have mic mode because on the power button panel you can actually have this hooked up and it will have a microphone built into it so it reacts with your voice so if i go ahead and hit mic right here you guys can see that right here it is reacting to my voice which is super awesome if we go back to color right here you're able to individually control each bulb and their relative brightness. You can do color schemes. If we go down to scenes, which is gonna be the most awesome part right here, I'll go ahead and show you guys the app real quick and then go through some of the awesome effects. So right now you have natural, you're going to have life, emotion, and festival. So we are currently on the sunset glow. Let's go ahead and try nebula. So this is nebula. So I think that looks really nice, kind of gives it a space view theme in a way. If we go to cornfield right here, you guys can see it's almost kind of like sunset glow, but it's flickering a little bit quicker. If we go ahead and switch over to glacier right here, you're going to get that really nice kind of ice blue, almost white theme that's going across the entire room right now, which really lights up really well because these get super bright too. Now, if we go over into the life portion, if we choose candy, you guys are going to see that we get this really nice strobing effect. If we choose colorful, it's just going to be different colored bulbs that are going to switch on and off. Emotion is really nice. If we go to meditation right here, you guys can see you get this really nice soft blue, which is just nice to have at the end of a long day. If you've been working hard, whatever it is, romantic right here. So bounce, go, wow, wow, if you want to do that. Cheerful right here. I really like this one. This is going to be really good for what? a party if you guys want to set these up in like a shop, a warehouse to have a party, whatever it is. And then you're also going to even have some festive such as Christmas lights right here. So the Govi Lynx LED addressable bulbs are incredible. Govi does not miss when they make these LED products. So definitely check these out if you guys are looking for a cool way to add a nice effect to your home, outdoors, maybe a gazebo, really whatever you can come up with to put these up there. Definitely do it. Check these out from Govi. I'm Nate with Dragon Blogger. See you guys on the next one. Thank you, Nate, for talking to us about the Govi Smart Outdoor String Lights. Today, they are available for $87.99. That's on deal. It's uh, They're normally uh, $110. It's 20% off today, making it $87.99. And they have a $10 off coupon. So basically $80 bucks for these string lights today. I've got a similar set of Govi lights under the table down here. 
Very, very awesome lights. Govi does make great lights. And uh, yeah, they have a ton of themes and scenes built into the app. And you can join the Govi community and get even more uh, scenes and themes. So the, it's like infinite possibilities. I put my Christmas tree on my brother's room. I have I still haven't taken down my Christmas lights. I would like to I would like to get the Govi outdoor permanent lights. They have these like individual uh, LED bulbs on these strips. It's been sold out for a while. I actually haven't looked into see if they're still available or not lately, but uh, yeah, I'd like to. I'd like to get some permanent outdoor lights. They sell them in 100 foot lengths, and I thought that that would be pretty baller if I had some permanent outdoor light and then you don't have you don't have to have lights on for just christmas you can have outdoor lights on for every day if you wanted to really you know what i mean but every occasion with the permanent installation of those outdoor lights but the govi smart outdoor lights while not permanently installable are still available like i said for basically what 77 dollars today pretty good deal pretty good deal now we got two products left here and i think uh rover is getting ready to shut down the roll call so this is this this is the time boom let's talk about it we're going to talk about these oh let's uh, refresh our page and see how many likes we got on our string lights we went from three to five likes thank you to the two people that liked it including myself now let's put this final uh link in the chat here uh, not final link but second to last here's a link for the next govi lights we're going to take a look at if y'all have the ability to click through this link and like the video it would be a massive massive help to what we're trying to accomplish here on amazon okay and that's a good reach and helpful videos i'm going to go ahead and like this video on my screen i'm going to be like number 32 okay i'm going to be like number 32 Alyssa, thank you for re-following appreciate you uh that's really nice of you um, for not for just be like, you know what? I'm going to click this unfollow button. That's what I'm going to do. And then overwhelmed with, Oh, bad move. I like that you reclicked it. So thank you for refollowing Alyssa. Very kind of you. Don't forget to get entered into our $5 Amazon gift card giveaway. We got a roll call that is Friday the 13th. Say that now in the chat. If you haven't. Okay. I'm sure that you have. And uh, we don't reset the form. So I'm sure you're entered in the form as well. Let's keep it going. Let's get the show rolling. We only got two products left. Like that video if you have the ability. And we're going to talk about the Govi RGBIC Smart Ground Bright Pathway Lights. Okay. This is going to be a video presented to us by Dragon Blogger Justin. I'm here unboxing and showcasing the Govi Allure Smart Ground Lights. Now, what these are is these little tight LED lights that you stake into the ground, and they provide like an illuminated pathway, which are great for like surrounding driveways or decorating your garden or just making landscape accents because you can really do a lot with these, and they're fairly long. As you can see, they have the little groove on the bottom where you would put in the landscape spike or the little spike on the bottom that goes in the ground. You get a lot of wiring there. It's extremely long. You get a control box to manually control it. It also pairs with the Glovi app via Bluetooth on your phone, so that way you can control the various light patterns on your phone, which we'll showcase later as well. So the first thing you got to do is obviously unwrap the wiring. It comes with multiple twist ties. You get a very long AC power cord. Then you're going to want to put the little spikes on all of the Govi lights, so that's going to take some time. Let me show you how these go on. You take each individual spike and you line up these little snap points. You can see each of these spikes has two little snap points. So you line up the snap points and then you just press firmly until they snap into place. Once they snap into place, they're nice and secure and they're snug. So you could just stake them in the ground. Obviously, you need to stake them in soft ground. Now, after pairing the ground lights with the Govi app, you could see through all the different color patterns just how really bright and vibrant these RGB lights are. And Govi makes fantastic lights. Their lights are always such top-notch and high quality. You could choose like the fire setting, which is kind of like rolling fire. You could choose blue and white. You could choose starry night. So many different color patterns. You could change the color of each individual light to be whatever you want, or you could cycle through all the patterns, everything from fire to fireworks to 
pulsing lights that kind of like flash and then go solid like this one, which is really unique. I just started playing around with all the color patterns. And there's just so many different color patterns to choose from besides the fact that you create your own. You could do various strobe effects with the lights. You could do party mode. But this would obviously annoy your neighbors. Imagine having all these ground lights. You can see how bright they are. Imagine having your driveway constantly lit up. But it's great for the holidays. You could set up all sorts of like Halloween colors or Christmas colors or fireworks in the summer. There's all sorts of creative things you can do with these with these driveway lights or these ground lights from Gobi. You can see I lined my driveway where the grass comes up against my driveway and they just make like nice little landing strips almost for my car to drive in the driveway. It follows the landing strips up. So I ended up testing out all the different colors and then I wanted to see what it looked like with classic white next to my white Tesla Model 3 as well. So again, the Gobi light strips, the Gobi ground lights, the smart ground lights are really incredible, highly recommended, so vibrant. There's so many things you could do with them from decorating plants decorating landscaping or even just lining your driveways thank you dragon justin blogger for telling us about the govi outdoor smart ground lights they are available today for 59.99 and that is a 30 percent deal they are normally 80 bucks they're on deal for 56 dollars today and when you click through the carousel and add these to your cart today they come with a $16 off coupon, amazing deals. Uh, so what does that make them? Basically 40 bucks. That basically makes the ground lights 40 bucks. Wow, I should get some ground lights. That sounds awesome. What a great deal. Uh, Patu Sanja, thank you for coming out. I was reading the comments above. I thought I couldn't enter anymore. Um, yo, just put Patu Sanja in the thing. Just put Patu Sanja in the thing. Patu Sanja comes out every day, hangs out with us, does the roll call. Okay, appreciate um, and it's the last one. It's the last one. We're not too busy today. Go ahead and put Pat in and uh, and we'll do that. OK. And uh, yeah, so that's it with the thing uh, with the with the um, excuse me. <clears throat> that is all that we have to say about the Govi RGBIC smart ground bright pathway lights. They are available for basically 40 bucks today after all the deals about 40 bucks. Uh, we went from 32 likes on that video to 34 likes. So thank you to the two people that are consistently clicking through and uh, liking these videos for us. It really is helpful to our bottom line here. So let's add the last link of the day in the chat. And that's going to be for the Anchor Nebula Capsule 3 laser projector. And again, if you have the ability please click through that link and like our video. I'm going to go ahead right now and like it. I'm going to be like number four. Okay. So if you like the video, let me know what like number you are. And without further ado, let's have James tell us about our final product of our carousel today. James here. And today we're taking a look at the Anchor Nebula Capsule 3. This is their 1080p laser projector. Uh, this is a full portable. It is a smart projector, guys. It is Android 11. That's right, Android 11. Uh, it is a mini projector, guys. It is portable and it is laser, so it is bright. Uh, it does have a two and a half hour battery life. Uh, that's on max coloration. You can dull that down and get approximately four hours if you want. Now, you do get anywhere from a 40 inch up to 120 inches. Uh, which is actually really, really cool. Now, it is 300 ISO luminous, which is actually 15% brighter than ANSI luminous, uh, which is really, really cool. Uh, two pounds, guys. That's always two pounds. Uh, it does have the cabling in to charge this. And like I said, full on Android 11. Now, it is a 14 uh, 14,500 milliamp battery inside this. So when you open it up, you're going to be greeted with this cool little uh, page and then this little packet. Once you pull this little packet out, you'll be greeted with the projector. We're going to set that aside first uh, because in this packet right here, guys, is actually uh, your remote control, your greeting card, and batteries. It does come with two AAA batteries to put in this remote control. So with this remote control, guys, you do have the power button. You also have Google Assistant. You have the mouse control, home keys, and all of that, and volume. Now, on this projector, you do have one 8-watt speaker. Uh, it is a Dolby Digital speaker, which is actually quite cool. Uh, and then inside the other little package over here, you'll be greeted with the USB-C to USB-C charging cable, which is actually nice that they give you that option. Uh, you'll then be greeted with the power brick to charge this, guys. Hour and a half to two hours, it'll be charged. Don't worry about it. Um, standard American style with the USB-C on the back. I love that they give you this, and I love that it folds up. 
uh, in a separate little box. You are then greeted with the projector itself, and on the back of the projector, you have your power button, guys. You also have your uh, autofocus key or keystone correction right there. You will then also have one HDMI port, one uh, audio visual 3.5 millimeter plug, and then you have your USB C charging cable. On the front, you'll have your lens and lens uh, projection site. You'll then have your actual auto correction sensor. So don't block that, guys. It'll auto correct itself. On the top, you guys will be greeted with all of the actual buttons that you'll need that the remote control can do right on the top. These will all light up. Very, very nice little projector, guys. Now, this thing's cool. What I'm going to do is show you guys on the bottom because it does have a tripod stand. That's right. It does have a tripod connector. So you can connect it to a, a camera tripod and use it just like that. Stick it on your ground wherever you really want. Great little projector, guys. Now, what we're going to do is I'm going to go turn it on. We're going to show you guys it in use. And we're going to have some fun. Okay, guys. Now that we have this hooked up, you guys will see that it's actually very fast and very simple and very quick. Uh, since it is Google Assistant's uh, setup, you can talk to it and tell it what to do. You do have multiple inputs. Uh, if you hit the input list, it'll tell you the HDMI. Uh, we'll bounce over to HDMI if you hit it. Now, if I go back, we're back to the home screen. Also shows that we're at 61% battery, but if we go into settings, this is where it gets cool. You guys, you see we're logged in. You will need to log into your Google account to actually download apps and all of that stuff. Now, in here, you also have projector settings uh, where you can do the brightness. Now, the brightness will determine your battery life. So I'm on standard, so it will chew up more battery. If I go to battery mode, it'll dull it down and save battery uh, for us. If I back out, we also have picture clarity, uh, standard movie or picture customs. Uh, we also have image correction if we want auto keystone, manual keystone, and all of that cool stuff. We also have focus settings where it does auto focus, auto focus outer movements. Uh, we then have sounds where we can set up movie, music, outdoors, or custom. Uh, very cool little setup. You also have Bluetooth speaker setups, and then you have your advanced settings. Uh, guys, next we're going to test out is a little bit of video footage, uh, and then we'll probably do a sound test or two. So if you guys give me a second, let's swap over to that. Okay, guys, now we're taking a look at a little uh, royalty freestyle mo uh, video, guys. We're just going to let this play, and we're going to show you guys this. Let it just play and show you the colorations. The colorations are beautiful. This projector puts off a lot of power. If you guys look and stand in front of me, uh, if I stand in front of it, you'll see how much it's putting off because it's projecting on my hands. Uh, great little background motion, guys. Great little video. Uh, great little sound here. Now, guys, uh, just awesome little piece. Okay, guys, now that I have us on some royalty-free or DMCA-free music, we're going to play this so you guys can actually hear the speakers. Now I'm going to back it off a little, guys, right here until the music starts going. Uh, this is just a relaxed style music. Go back to the home screen guys very simple very easy guys the anchor nebula capsule 3 is great the, the hardware the accelerations uh you can bounce through the stuff with no issues just like this guys watch it just click and scroll uh no problems whatsoever i uh, have all the apps at hand that you could truly need i of course it's 300 isl luminous and 1080p in a little act, small packed size i want to thank you for checking this video out and i hope you guys have a great one Thank you, James. The Nebula Anchor Capsule 3 laser projector is available today for $799.99. Yo, we did it. We covered all our products here in well good time. We're like 10 minutes before the top of the hour. I got already the clown list uh, ready to go, so we're going to do that right now. And uh, after the race, post the name. Yeah, okay, let me scroll up and see the shuffles. Two shuffles, 48 seconds. You got it. You got it. What are we looking at? The clown race. That's what we're looking at. Let's switch over to our clown race. Boom. Let's do, what did you say? What did you say? 48 seconds. I got you. 48 seconds. Oh, before we set it, let's go to edit list. 
And uh, let's go over the list. Yo, we got Rover. We got Travel Diva. We got Randy Dresden and Evans, as well as Kmart Kelly and Lori B, Vicky E, Samantha Guevara, Wiley S, Bart, Alyssa, Gizmo Carol right here. And then as we scroll down to the bottom of our list, let's scroll up just a bit there. After Gizmo Carol, we have Margaret and Arlene, as well as Jennifer Lude, as well as Rising Siren, Woolrich the Junior, uh, Cool Shopper, Stargazer, Boston Butterfly. And scroll down to the bottom of this list one moment. <laughs> Excuse me. After Boston Butterfly, I see Ian. I see Fran. No, it's fine. I see Ian. I see Denise Marte. I see Ian B, as well as Chucky and Patu Sanja. That is all the names. I certainly don't see any doubles in this list today. So thank you very much. Uh, cool Shopper, can you pe please post the links for the giveaways again before close? Yeah, that's a great idea. We got a lot of giveaways going on right now. We got this $5 gift card giveaway that we're doing right now. We're doing two $5 gift card giveaways right now. We got a $100 gift card giveaway that's popping off at shoppingdragons.com slash win100, okay? That's going to end at the end of January. So uh, let's get that figured out. Also, Dragon Blogger has a ton of giveaways going on, but I know y'all want to get to the clown race, so let's do that. Let's do the clown race right now. We got all our names in here, 25 names. Let's hit done. Scroll up again. I think it was two shuffles. Two shuffles. We got our 48 seconds set. Let's turn our music down, and let's hit shuffle twice. Shuffle, shuffle, and let's hit start. Ooh, a little while. Yo, thank you everybody for joining me here on Clown Live today. This has been a really fast, awesome, good show. Uh, I can't wait to watch all those videos tonight that I was telling you about earlier. And uh, yeah, that's where I'm at. It's TGIF, baby. You know what I'm saying? So we're just going to take it easy this weekend. Maybe do some non-streaming Amazon stuff. But pretty much just avoid live streams for a couple days around the house. And uh, yeah, just hang out with Mima. You excited to hang out this weekend, Mima? Yes, it's going to be a nice time. Mia says hello, everybody. I know she's a little far away from the mic. But with eight seconds left, who's going to win? Is it going to be Vicky E today? Are we going to get another winner? Take over from the back. I see it. I see it. Is it going to be somebody else? Oh, it's Travel Diva. Yo, Travel Diva, congratulations. You have won $5 Amazon gift card here on Clown Live. Okay, congratulations to you. Let's stop the clown music. Okay, let's stop that clown music. And let's full screen me here real quick. And let's stop this show and reach out to our friend Justin. Okay, and what are we going to tell him? What are we going to tell Justin? Well, we're going to tell him that today... Travel, let me spell your name right. Travel Diva is January, what's today's date? 13th. January 13th, uh, $5 winner. Travel Diva is January 13th, $5 winner. Boom. Hey, look, it's Mima, everybody. Mm -hmm. What's up, Beeps? Hi. Thanks for coming out. We're just <laughs> wrapping up the show here. You want to announce who's going to be the second $5 Amazon gift card winner here today? Sure. Okay, cool. So to do that, we minimize Discord, mm -hmm. and then we make sure everything looks good, and then we share our screen, okay? Mm -hmm. So we got – you want to do it? You just got to – we're going to move the mouse over here. Mm -hmm. See the mouse now? We're going to click on the trophy. You want to do it? Uh, okay. You want to move the mouse and click yeah. on the trophy? Awesome. So we got Travel Diva in first, Rover in second. Oh, Rover, so close to first place today. <laughs> Ian in third place. Here, I'll, I'll grab these numbers for you, okay? So uh, you want to say the name of 17th place when we get sure. there? Okay, so uh, in fourth, we got Alyssa. Lori B in fifth. Vicky in seventh. Jennifer Lude in eighth place today. 11th place, Evan. Stargazer, I see you in 10th place. Margaret in 12th. 14. Siren is 15. Okay, uh, six, oh, 17th place, Jackie. Oh, okay, go ahead and say this in. Chucky. Chucky, congratulations. You did it. Your voodoo mumbo jumbo worked. Are yeah. you here in the chat to come to, to claim? I'm uh, I'm so confident Travel Diva claimed. I, I didn't even type the name in the chat. But Chucky, yes, you are 17th. Uh, Travel Diva claimed, right? I didn't check the chat. 
But I see Chucky in 17th place here in the chat claim. Did Travel Diva claim? I'm confident she did. I'm confident she did. I already typed the winner. Uh, I keep forgetting to type the name every day. It doesn't matter how many times you tell me, Rover. I just keep forgetting. But congratulations to Travel Diva. Congratulations to you, Chucky. We already see your name uh, above Rover's call there. So thank you. Your voodoo mumbo jumbo. You don't get another voodoo win around here, okay? So keep all those uh, keep all those voodoo chants to yourself, all right? You're, uh, it's like, I'm not good at voodoo, so I don't get the advantage. Congratulations, though, on spitting that mumbo jumbo in the chat and securing today's second $5 Amazon gift card. You win $5. Um, let's scroll down to your name again in 17th place here, okay? Uh, boom, Chucky right here, 17th place. Congratulations. Okay, let's full screen me again as we do, okay? And uh, let's go and send this message off that um, nobody has said anything that Travel Diva didn't claim, so I, I'm assuming that she did. I'm assuming that she did. Uh, Chucky wins $5 uh, January 11th for... Um, coming in 17th place for 17th place. Chucky wins $5 January 11th for coming in 17th place. And uh, do, 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 did I see Travel Diva claim? Congrats, congrats, congrats. Oh, there we go. I see you here three minutes ago, Travel Diva. Thank you. Uh, I hope you're enjoying some other stream somewhere else right now. Uh, January 13th. Uh, sorry. Yeah, my <laughs> I didn't send the message yet. Thanks, Rover. My brain has uh, got a bunch of holes in it. I did not send the message. I'm going to send it now. And it says, Chucky wins $5 January 13th for coming in 17th place. Okay. Uh, coming. Okay. I wrote coming. Uh, Chucky, win Chucky wins $5 January 13th for coming in 17th place. Boom. I sent the messages off. Congratulations again, Travel Diva and Chucky. Let's switch back over to the race and see who placed in the final places today on our final show of the week. Okay, Chucky in 17th place with that $5 get. Samantha Guevara in 18. Kmart Kelly, 19. Boston Butterfly, Wiley, Woolrich, Patu Sanja, 23rd place. Cool Shopper and Gizmo Carol in 25th place today. So be it. So be it. That is what we did today. Um, but yeah, I think that's it. Bart, thank you for saying congratulations to the winners. And uh, that's it. That's we're done. What time is it? Is it seven? It's seven fifty-six. Actually, we're not done. We're gonna hang out for five more minutes. We do the show until seven o'clock. That's what we do. And what I'm gonna do then is I'm gonna show you one more product here because I'm super, super stoked on it. And uh, yeah, I'm pretty stoked. So I want to show it to you real quick here before we leave. Now, I don't have it set up or anything. So I, I can't, I just, I can only show the box cause I'm not taking it out of the box until it's time to set up. Cause it looks like it's got some parts to it. Looks like it's got some parts to it. So let's click back and let's paste this link. Ian says, Hey, sorry if this is a bit annoying, but do you know when the emails get sent out? Nothing is annoying here. And uh, what emails? The emails about winning something, uh, like a $5 Amazon gift card. Did you win a $5? I'm, I'm confident you won, but uh, did you not get it? And if that's the case, what is the date? Let me know what day and what gift card you might be talking about. And then I will send that message to Justin right now while we're live because I got a few minutes to go. But let me put this link in the chat. And, uh, Ian, did you go to the thing for login? Here's the thing, Rover. Uh, I would assume that this is a factual statement. If I give a name to Justin and Justin can't correlate the name to a user who's, who filled out the form, I'm pretty confident that he would relay that information to me. And I have only been told one time weeks and weeks ago that one person couldn't claim the $5 gift card. So, okay, with that, let's put this link in the chat and let's grab this big box real quick and talk about it before we end the show. Oh, you put the heavy box on the floor, boot. Thanks. Oh, I had it up for a reason. Ugh. 
Okay, we're going to look at the box and we're going to look at the product page. Let's see where I'm at here on my show. Uh, boom, we put the link in. Let me grab the link for myself as well. Share my screen. And then do... Um, this? Yeah, that's cool. That's cool. Uh, we'll show the monitor big first. We'll show the monitor stand big. Look, I got this triple monitor stand by Huanuo, or I'm not sure how you say the name. But uh, yeah, this thing is looking not complicated, but packed nice in the box. So I'm not trying to, uh, I'm not trying to be... I'm not trying to be taking this out of the box until it's time to set up, but this is going to fit screens uh, up to 17 to 32 inches. So I got the big one uh, and it's good for, I think, 20 pounds across, 20 pounds for each monitor, 17 and a half pounds for each monitor. Seems pretty, excuse me, pretty great. Now, pardon me, excuse me. <clears throat> now this triple monitor stand does have a clamp feature to clamp to the desk, but also it has like a, a, like a grommet mounting feature. Now the desk that I have doesn't offer the grommet mounting. I'm going to have to go with the clamp mounting. And I also decided to get a, like a metal, um, like a, like a metal sheath or whatever. I don't know what is the right word to describe it like a, but it goes around the wood so that I can clamp to the wood, to the metal instead of to the wood. And I'm real stoked for this thing. You can move the monitors in so many different positions and really get uh, the look that you need. Uh, I was watching the video. I was watching some videos about this, but I guess they're not here. And uh, in the video, the guy was giving like the best high five, but I guess we don't have those videos here. The, I think they're on YouTube. But yeah, I got the triple monitor stand, yo. It's right here in this box. And uh, yeah, it's a lot. Uh, where, where are we at here? There's a lot in the box, right? So I don't want to take it out yet. But when I do, it's going to be like living in the future. I'm very excited about the triple stand monitor. And uh, here, I'll show this brand name just like that. We got it just like that. And uh, we can push this back a bit too. Boom. Cool. So that's it. Now we did it. We hit 7 o'clock. The show's over. I'm excited to set up this monitor stand. But I need that little clamp. I'll show you the clamp real quick without the product number in the chat. It'll just take a quick second. Take a quick second. Let's go to my browsing history here and see if I have that clamp in my... And I think, no, I don't, I don't have it easily. It's just a metal clamp. It's just a metal thing that like, if this is the, if my hand is the desk and this hand is the clamp, you just put the clamp onto the desk and now it's not going to like damage the wood. Okay. That's all that I'm trying to say about it. Let's say goodbye to everybody in the chat today and end the show. We got some company coming over here in just a few minutes. So with that, let me scroll up a bunch here. Let me scroll up. Let me scroll up. Let me scroll up. Let me scroll up. Okay, I scrolled up 10 minutes ago to Travel Diva Claiming. So congratulations again, Travel Diva, Kmart Kelly, Boston Butterfly, Cool Shopper, Wiley, Patu Sanja, Rover. Thank you for being our moderator today. Woolrich the Junior, thanks for coming out. Stargazer, uh, as well as Evans and Alyssa, thanks for following again. Uh, uh, Evans says, hey, Mima. Stargazer says, hey, Mima. Hi. Uh, Alyssa says, Hey, Mima. Cool Shopper says, Hey, Mima. Hello, Denise says, Hey, Mima. Nice to meet you. Woolrich says, Hey, Mima. And then uh, Wiley says, Greetings, Mrs. Mima. Hope you are okay. And guess what? Everybody, everybody spelled your name correctly today oh, in the okay. chat. It doesn't matter. <laughs> uh, Heidi Ho, uh, Heidi Who, Heidi Who says, uh, Chucky for the W. Congratulations again, Chucky. Vicky E, thank you for joining us today. Denise Martha, thank you for joining us today. Uh, let's see. Jennifer Lude, thank you as well for coming out. And Boston Butterfly. Margaret, I appreciate you all. All of you guys. Bart coming out today. Uh, we're going to be live tomorrow, just like uh, Rover says six minutes ago. Uh, oh, not tomorrow. Not tomorrow. Monday through Friday. We're going to be off for the weekend. I will be back on Monday. Okay, that's going to be 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. 10 p.m. Zulu time, that's 4 p.m. Central, 3 p.m. Mountain, and 2 p.m. Pacific time, okay? So 
Thank you for that. Ian, thank you for joining our show today. And uh, yeah, you all are so great. Cody Lake, thank you so much. You did miss the roll call. The show's been over, bud. Uh, we're over. We're done. It's, uh, you're going to have to come back on Monday when we do another one. It says eight entries. What says eight entries? One minute ago. What says eight entries? Look in your spam. Search spam and type Amazon gift card. Um, then you've entered. Sweet. Okay. Uh, Cody, yes, there's the times for the show. Jennifer Lude, Ian, sometimes gift cards go to spam. Sometimes. Uh, always, I think, yeah, sometimes gift cards can go to spam. But uh, always, I believe this is a fact. Every time you win a gift card or get a gift card issued to you, the title, is, the, the subject line is hooray. Hooray, you win or you have been given or gifted a, a, an Amazon gift card. So a, a common phrase to search for in your inbox, your spam box, accidentally deleted emails uh, is hooray. H-O-O-R-A-Y with an exclamation point. Hooray seems to be a good uh, keyword for me to search when I'm seeking lost gift cards in my inbox. Ian says, I did look in the spam, Jennifer. The newsletter emails are also coming normally. Uh, okay, well, let me stay on the show for another minute. And instead of waiting, I'll just type in real time and say, Ian, I missed if you answered. Did you not, uh, did you not get a card? I can... Uh, message Justin now about it. Sorry if you answered the question earlier. Please feel free to answer me again right now, and I'll be happy to message him, and I will address this, and then we will end the show, okay? Uh, so while I wait for Ian to chat it up from one minute ago, if anybody has the answer, let me know. And uh, yeah, thank you for joining Clown Live here on Friday night. It's been fun. Uh, dude, we got some sweet products that came in the mail this week. We got to show some of them and I'm excited to talk about them more on the show. Uh, the Tribit Stormbox Blast is a really sweet product. And so is the EcoFlow River 2. Uh, we got some new kitchen stuff that I'm excited to show you. Okay. Ian says, we're the first, we're the first three winners here. Uh, one, 10, 23. He won on the 10th. He won on the 10th and he didn't get a gift card. He won on January 10th. He won He won on the 10th and didn't get a gift card. Ian won on the 10th. Okay, no problem. Let me check my Discord real quick. And uh, I put the date for everything. So Jan 10th. Correction, Ian, not Ian B, wins January 10th, $5. Okay, so let me... Uh, let me uh, not Leslie. Leslie didn't win. Leslie didn't win. Leslie didn't win because she wasn't here to claim on January 10th. And so we made a correction and said, Ian, not Ian B wins January 10th, $5. Now I don't even have this reacted to from Justin, which is generally a common thing to acknowledge that he has seen it at least. And I don't have that now. So let me, uh, let me uh, jump to the beginning of our conversation here and uh, say that Ian, uh, Ian, and again, I'm going to put not Ian B because I think it is relevant, okay? Uh, Ian, not Ian B, uh, did not receive a $5 gift card from a win on January 10th. Ian, not Ian B, did not receive $5 gift card from a win on January 10th. So I spelled January wrong, so let me fix that. Ian, not Ian B, did not receive $5 gift card from a win on January 10th. Boom. Send that message off to Justin. Yo, Ian, that's it. That's what we're going to do about it today. Okay. And uh, we're going to end the show now. So I sent the message off. If you don't get your gift card over the course of the weekend, then please feel free to contact me again. No hard feelings over not getting the card. It's definitely coming your way. Sometimes we can all understand things happen. So, but I think once Justin realizes that I sent him the message today, I feel confident that it should come. I can't speak absolutely. Okay. So, uh, Blake, I am yet to get the gift card for yesterday, says Cool Shopper. Ian says, all righty, thanks, and story for the hassle. No, Ian, it's not a hassle. If you won something here and you didn't get it, then it's not a hassle to inquire, 
hey, why didn't I get the thing that you said you were going to give me? We've created an obligation, right? So I, I want to make sure that it gets honored. So it's not a hassle at all. Cool shopper. Let me check yours as well. Okay, right now. Uh, let me check my Discord. Yesterday was January 12th. Yesterday was January 12th. So, so let me check my January 12th. Cool shopper wins January 12th, $5. Um, okay. Uh, I'm going to politely tell Justin it is also claimed that cool shopper did not get $5 GC January 12th. Um, and also this is, uh, uh, this was reacted to. So it was reacted to that. He saw the cool shopper win. So, uh, it is also claimed that cool shopper did not get $5 gift card January 12th. I'm going to send that message off right now as well. And there we go. There we go. I know Jennifer, he's very quick. That's why I was surprised. Yeah, he's really awesome about uh, being on top of everything. So I'm sure it's just a slight, uh, a slight in, uh, in uh, whatever, whatever's the appropriate word. Uh, not judgment, but he just maybe didn't get the card out. The card will go out. Absolutely. I'm not worried about that. And yeah, so once again, Travel Diva, $5 winner today. Chucky, $5 winner for coming in uh, 17th place. Ian didn't get his gift card from the 10th and cool shopper didn't get the gift card from January 12th. So I've sent all those messages off. Yeah, absolutely. Ju Dude, Justin is one of the most hardworking, busy guys I've ever met. Uh, I never, ever hear him talk about sleep. You know, you know what I mean? I never hear him talking about sleep or anything like that. So we could be done with this live stream. No, we'll leave this one open real quick. So I think then now that is everything. You're very welcome, Cool Shopper. Of course, like I said a moment ago, if we said that you got something and you didn't get it, it's not a hassle to let us know. It's important and communication is key. So thank you for bringing it, all those to my attention. And uh, yeah, that's it. We're done with the show. So thanks everybody for watching one last time. We'll see you on Monday at 5 p.m. Eastern, okay? I'm going to hit end stream. Much clown love. We'll catch you all on Monday. Bye, everybody.